Fairfax. We had mostly sunny skies. We made our way through the day today. Clear skies out there right now, but temperatures barely went anywhere with those highs only into the upper 20s. We have fallen to 24 degrees right now in Scotts Bluff with that wind east around 9 miles per hour. It's making it feel like 14 with the wind chill at dew point at 16 degrees. Here's a look at the temperatures across the region. So in the Harrisburg area and up towards Shadron, we're both at 29 degrees, but 23 at Alliance, 22 at Bridgeport and at Gordon, and 24 out toward Kimball and Oshkosh. Here's a look at the winds, mainly from a southerly direction, but funneling up the valley and with an easterly flow. Wind speeds are pretty variable between 10 and even 30 miles per hour, depending on where you are. Now, here's a look at the weather alerts across the region. So if you're west of I-25, that's the only alert we have, a high wind warning that does go from uh, tomorrow at 5 a.m. through Friday at 11 a.m. Watch out traveling in that direction because of the strong winds. But other than that, we do have some clouds from Scotts Bluff and points off to the north and clear skies along the I-80 corridor because we got that warm front draped over us. That is the beginning of warm air. We already saw the wind flipping around to a southerly direction. We were on the cool side of this high pressure system for the day today. We had that strong northerly flow. That's moved into the Midwest, uh, northeast, getting a lot of rain and some snow from this system. Another system will drag its cold front across our viewing area, but we should stay mainly dry. So. We're going to be in the warm sector for one day. Lots of sunshine, a southerly wind until that cold front gets here. That will be uh, as we make our way through the late evening or early overnight Thursday into Friday. And then the wind flips around to more of a northerly direction. Most of the snow stays off to the north from this one. And then you're going to see up and down temperatures on the map. We will have these high pressure systems once again uh, flipping the wind direction. So we're back to a southerly wind for the weekend and more sunshine. So we will warm up. So here's a look at the sky cast. Uh, temperatures falling back into the upper teens by around the midnight hour with mainly clear skies. Now, as we go through the overnight into Thursday morning, falling back to around 10 degrees for a low here in the valley locations. But for the day on Thursday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and high temperatures uh, mainly into the 40s, maybe some areas closer to 50 before we get that front making its way through. We're still in the warm sector Friday morning. Low is really not that bad, low to mid 20s, but the wind flips around to a northerly direction. Some snow showers are possible well off to our north, but we're going to keep mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. High temperatures falling back into the upper 30s by early Friday afternoon, maybe into the lower 30s by later on to the afternoon. So that cool air really does work its way in. So for the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine out there, dry into the southeast, warm from here to the Mexican border, just some thunderstorms into Texas. But this next system mainly is going to produce a lot of moisture along the rocky mountain states. It'll dry out before it gets here because the jet stream's off to our north. And uh, we'll just continue to stay dry, just up and down temperatures through most of the week. So we're at 47 tomorrow and 39 on Friday. Lots of sunshine. Windy conditions for Friday, 45 on Saturday. Mostly sunny skies turn partly cloudy by Sunday, a high of 47. And then upper 30s Monday to Tuesday. But Sunny to mostly sunny skies. The precipitation chance has fallen to 10% on Monday, and we've taken off the snow shower chance. So it looks like dry conditions, lots of sunshine through Wednesday of next week with a high of 42. Angel? Thanks, Justin. This is the busiest time of the year for the United States Postal Service, but help may be arriving in the form of new sorting machines.